This week I've been driving the 2019 Ram 1500 Lone Star. Now I've driven quite a few different 2019 Ram 1500s over the past few months. So uh, let's see all the different trim levels and where this thing fits in. So you start off with the Tradesman, which is basically the workhorse, the work truck of the Ram 1500 lineup. And then you get the Lone Star or the Bighorn. In Texas, it's called the Lone Star. Everywhere else, it's called the Bighorn. Next, you get the Laramie, which I've reviewed. And then you get the Rebel, which is off-road focused, which I've also reviewed. And then you get the Longhorn or Laramie Longhorn, which is a much more premium focused truck, which I've also reviewed. And finally, you get the Limited, which is their top of the line truck that you can get. Now, I've made a special playlist just for the 2019 Rams that I've reviewed. So if you're interested in any of the other ones besides the Lone Star, you can go check out those reviews in that playlist. All right, so let's take a look at the exterior of the truck and let's take some time to look at the differences between this Lone Star and their other trim levels. So up front, you've got this chromed out front bumper as well as a chrome grill surround and a few other chrome bits here and there. Also with the Lone Star, you get these fog lamps standard. Next along the doors here, you get this chrome strip in the doors. You get a full chrome rear bumper and of course that Lone Star badge. Standard with the Lone Star, you get 18 inch wheels. These are optional 20 inch wheels. And of course they're chrome. Also optional on this truck is the wheel to wheel sidestep. As an option with the Lone Star, you can get Ram box, but this one does not have Ram box, but it does have this factory installed cover. You can also get the Lone Star with a monochromatic sport or black packages. Under the hood is Ram's 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. You can also get the 3.6 Pentastar V6. No matter which engine you choose, you get an eight speed automatic transmission. All right, it's time to jump in the car. It's way too cold out here, but let's check out some interior features. take a quick second to um, show you this thing. This was sent to me by Adu. They reached out to me and wanted to send me one of these for free. They're not uh, paying me for this. This thing right here is a jump starter for your car. It can also charge um, phones or iPads or whatever, but it's uh, pretty cool. I used to carry one, something similar to this around with me because our, um, our old van used to uh, the battery used to die, it used to crap out a lot. So I had one, but it was much bigger. And whenever this company contacted me and wanted me to uh, take a look at this thing and review it for them, um, I told them to send it on. So again, this is a Adu, it's a um, car jump starter kit. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Again, it's not an affiliate link. It's just a, it's just a link to their product because it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. If you're interested in a full unboxing of this thing on my other channel, um, me and the little one back here did a fun little unboxing of it. So uh, if you're if you're interested in that, I'll leave it up in the i cards. For 2019, the interior has been completely redesigned with all new features, tech, and premium materials. The Lone Star offers four interior trim levels and a choice of a six-passenger bench front seat, like we have in this review, or the optional five-passenger bucket seats. You get a 60-40 split in the rear bench seat. 
This truck also has best in class leg room as we'll demonstrate right now. That's my driving position. That's how much room I have. Huge back seat. As far as tech goes in this Lone Star Ram 1500, you get standard, a blind spot monitoring system. You get the 8.4 inch touchscreen Uconnect system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you get a standard 3.5 inch driver display. You also get automatic folding side mirrors. This truck is equipped with the cloth seats, which I think are actually really nice material for being cloth seats and they're really comfortable to sit in and drive. You get a lot of modern tech like USB-C and in other trim levels you can get wireless charging and a little tray to hold smartphones. Driving wise it's a really comfortable truck. Standard you get a coil link rear suspension but you can also option up to Ram's active air level suspension. You can also get 4x4 optional with the off-road group package. Now, if you've watched any of my other Ram reviews, you'll know I really like the Ram and the way that they drive. And with the Lone Star, it's no different. This is a smooth driving, quiet, comfortable truck that's great for the family, especially with this bench front seat. Fuel economy wise, this thing is rated at 17 miles per gallon city and 22 miles per gallon highway. And you get a 33 gallon fuel tank. So on a full tank, you're looking at a four to 500 mile range. Comparison wise, obviously it compares to all the 1500 trucks. And I've already gone through this in my other reviews, but um, the way that I see the truck market right now, I really like the Ford F-150 and the Ram 1500. Those are both kind of tied with me for first place on what I like. And then the Toyota Tundra is a really nice truck, but I think it lacks in technology. And then you have the new Nissan Titan, which is a little bit bigger than this in a really nice truck, but that still I think lacks in a, a little bit design and some technology. And then you have the GM trucks, the GMC and the Chevy. And I like the design of the GMC trucks, not as much the Chevy trucks, but um, I think those also lack a little bit in interior and in the quality that they drive. So again, I really like these Ram trucks. I would definitely recommend this Lone Star edition to anybody looking at one here in Texas. But let's uh, take a step out and wrap this video up. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Ram 1500 Lone Star or any of the 2019 Ram 1500s. Be sure to go check out that playlist um, and see the other reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.